Greetings, family. This is Isis Love coming at you. Um, just now, I'm in the car. I'm heading back to North Carolina. Just left the uh, Baltimore, Maryland area. And um, I made a video, uh, I think it was yesterday, about creating your own deities. And um, I just wanted to add a little bit more things to reflect the video. Um, maybe some things I didn't really cover. Um, so you don't need... The, the deity doesn't have to be physical. So as long as you're using your imagination is what really counts. You know, you don't have to have a sigil or you don't have to have, you know, a bracelet or a coin or it doesn't have to be, the entity doesn't have to be represented as something physical. It still can be represented as a non-physical uh, entity. So don't stress that. And then the second thing is you have, but you have to feed these entities. These entities, they want to eat just like you want to eat. So, um, whenever you create the entity, ent well, first off, when you create the entity, after you get the name, give it a storyline. Describe it. How does it look? You know, for ex example, like I told you, mine, Garfor. Garfor, he's very, 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 very tall. Um, very, very muscular. He carries a bow and arrow. He has um, knives. And his muscles is just like, he has no fat or anything in his body. His muscles and um, I can't see his face though. He's just so tall. I only um, can just hear him and feel him walking. So I never really seen um, Garford's face. So I can't see his face. But um, matter of fact, I just was just made with no face. <laughs> just doesn't have any face. So um, so yeah, give him a storyline and stuff, and then just feed him. Like you have to feed these entities. So like. So, like, if you're about to have dinner, you know, put you a plate out for Garf. I mean, I put, you know, well, I don't do it as much as I should, but I should. You put me out a plate for Garf. Um, you can, you know, be outside. Give an offering because it's, it's something that's coming from you. So, just like you can offer your pee and all that to uh, Mother, to the Earth, you can also um, offer it to the, to the, to the to your deity. Also, a very strong way to uh, deity is through masturbation, um, through that orgasm, through that, that energy, you can feed them that energy, and that's a strong energy to, to give to the deities, um, because these, these deities are here as your servants, they are here to serve you, you are the master of your reality, so they're here to serve you, so, um, Make these deities do what you want to do. You know, you might have somebody at work that just pisses you off, who always just talks shit to you or something. Just piss you off at work. Create you a deity so that when that person at work go to mess with you, that deity going to get them. You know what I mean? So create a, create a deity for everything because you do it every day anyway. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You really do it every day. Every day we create deities and we create ones that we don't even need and we don't even want but we just feed we you know we just really feed those deities the depression deities or the i can't find a man or i my beautiful deities like we we create those every day so let's just start creating um let's start creating what we want in our reality so it's really that simple if you guys uh check out my first video it goes more and in deep into um creating a deity but like i said it's very easy you just really got to use your imagination like you really have to get child like and use your imagination start getting imaginary friends you guys start having your imaginary friends they're they're going to be the ones that's going to be there to back you up when, when stuff gets down so don't want to make this long just wanted to come on here um figured out touch up some more on the deities about feeding them and about them not really having to 